So we've not gone far, maybe 10 miles, but yeah, that is definitely 100% snow, and we are about to break 8,000 feet. And uh, according to the weather, it is in the 30s here right now, and it definitely feels like it. So, yeah, I think we made the right decision. <laughs>
Cibola. I'm sorry, Cibola National Forest. So we just exited it out. For that. Definitely still a bunch of snow. This must have been last night or the day before. Because, uh, still here. Yeah, there's some dark clouds up ahead, too. But, you know, we get a lower elevation, it won't be snow, it'll be rain. Deal with that. Wasn't, a, wasn't planning on putting up the rooftop tent tonight anyway. Uh, just for a simple fact, like I said, we want to get an early start in the morning. So, we don't want to take all the time to pack all that back up. Plus, if it rains, I don't like putting my tent up wet. I mean, my tent is not, uh, not that synthetic stuff. It's an actual, real canvas tent. Um, so, it does mold easy if you don't take care of it. thing about it being an actual real canvas tent is that uh, if I wanted to I could put a stove jack in and one of the little itty bitty uh, wood stoves to stay warm up there but I don't plan on doing that because I plan actually plan on replacing it soon um, or possibly swapping out tra uh, trained up to a shuttle bus I think I mentioned this to you guys before. Um, I want to get me, what? There's one that a friend of mine knows a guy that has one. It's, uh. Oh, excuse me. Yogurt making a comeback. Um, it's a C5500 Kodiak gas, uh, 36 passenger shuttle bus. about that, upgrading to that. I wouldn't be able to do a lot of two off-road stuff with that, but maybe down the road I can pick up a, a used Jeep Jeep or Montero or something, short wheelbase Montero, and uh, can use the shuttle bus as a base camp, and then, you know, go off exploring a smaller vehicle. But, uh, idea. Not sure if that's going to happen or not. But it's one possibility. But if I don't upgrade anytime soon, I am definitely upgrading my tent because it is old and uh, it has had mildew in the past. I've treated it, but you know, you never really get rid of mold once it sets in. Uh, there's no mold smell in there, but you can see where it had gotten into the canvas before. Plus, it's, it's with the awnings up there, it is a real pain, and like I described to you guys before, to get it open and closed and set up properly. So, I'm thinking about one of those kinds that pop straight up, or a clamshell or something like that, where it's much, much easier to, to set up, tear down. So, I mean, honestly, I don't spend a lot of time up there. Generally, when I set up, you know, I'm with Lucy and we're on the ground, and I only get up there when I'm about ready to go to bed. I'll take my laptop up there, set it up, and watch a movie until I fall asleep or something. But, uh, they don't have to be too roomy. I do need to get a new side on him, a uh, little Chinese knockoff one. Uh, one of the extend arms that supports the sides when it's extended uh, won't lock into place anymore. I have to use tape, uh, Gorilla tape, to keep it open. But, you know, I got a year's worth of that use out of it. It only cost me 100 bucks, so I'm not complaining too bad, but definitely need to get a new one. Probably you're just going to bite the bullet, spend the money, and get an ARB or rough country or, you know, a name, a name brand one that's got a warranty and it'll last longer. Uh, the 
one of the, the ARB one I have on the back has been working great. Ain't had no problem with that event. Let's slow it down here. We're approaching uh name of that town? Pie Town. And uh, we're back up to almost 8,000 feet again. Enough uh, amperage. It's 
190 watt uh, charger for the laptop because it's you know a gaming laptop. It's got a 1070 Ti in it. Which I don't play much games when I'm traveling. Um, just because they <laughs> No Minecraft drains battery in 30 minutes. Definitely beautiful country. So beautiful. Even with the overcast and the snow and the cold. Now we're slowly going down. We're going to drop down to about 74.50. And I have been running on, running along with the mouth and not been paying attention. Sorry about that. Alright guys, we're going to cut it off here. And, well, let's get over this little rise so we can see this valley out through here. I know I said that a couple of rises ago and we're still going. <laughs> I promise you guys this time. Next rise. A couple, a little bit of patches of snow here and there, uh, mainly in the little little gullies and ravines where the sun wasn't able to get to. But for the most part, this area here hasn't got any snow in it. It uh, apparently melted uh, melted off. So we are in Pumeo, Pumeo, something like that, New Mexico, about 35 miles from the Arizona border. We're still on Highway 60, um, and it's still freezing. <laughs> it's not Pumeo. Um, it's not freezing, freezing, but it feels like it. Um, yeah, we're down to about 6,800 feet, and uh, just a short little small town. Too small, apparently, for a dollar general family dollar. Largo Motel. believe that's what you call a one horse town. Nothing wrong with that. But it looks like we're getting ready to climb this mountain over here. Yeah, so we'll be going back up. It is definitely at least the 40s. Um, still no cell signal so I can't get an accurate temperature. Um, but I have since then rolled up all the windows. That one cracked for a few minutes. Just a little fresh air. It was getting stuffy from the heater. But, uh, yeah, it is really cold. And you can see that front there, right in front of us. So I can't really tell which way it's going. To the south, it looks pretty clear. Mostly blue, some clouds. Um, but we're not really heading, well, we're heading south a little bit, but mostly west. And then we'll be heading northwest shortly. Springerville, which that's in Arizona. 
Um, not sure how much farther the border is. I know it's not too far. seen a mileage sign here in a while. Uh, there's the one right there it looks like. Yep. 32 miles from Arizona border. So we'll catch you guys there unless something else comes up.